Hi everybody, the Bourbon Beginner here on week eight of my palate improvement project. And today we're going to be finishing up the benchmark, the single barrel. Uh, I've been drinking this all week. And uh, it's a 96 proof. And it's a Sazerac brand, so it's from the same company that makes like Buffalo Trace and Weller. Um, but uh, it is a single barrel. And it's, it's their lower end product, but it's not that bad. I've been drinking it all week. And uh, then we're going to try out Very Old Barton, which is a, it's actually another Sazerac brand, but it's from the Barton Distillery. And uh, it's uh, supposedly a very, very good lower price bourbon. It's about $13 here in Texas. So we're going to go ahead and try this one out today. So let's go ahead and, I'll, I'll go ahead and try the, uh, the Benchmark single barrel. I'm going to go ahead and just give it a taste again after I've been drinking it for a week and to see if anything's changed. I will say, and I noticed this last night, that I'm almost smelling, along with the caramel, it smells kind of like banana bread. And I looked on the internet and I could find no one that said anything about Benchmark and banana bread. So I think this is just me and my weird uh, sense of taste. Maybe my sense of taste is changing. Hopefully it's going to get better at some point, but uh, at least for me, last night I really noticed it. It's like, yeah, this, it smells kind of like banana bread. But it has that caramel taste and vanilla. Not really tasting so much banana. I'm just getting it in the smell. So let's try a little bit over ice. And just see if that melts it down a little bit. Yep, still that um, caramel, not really tasting any any banana, but it has that smell. So that's just me. And uh, like I said, this whole thing is trying to improve my palate. So all right, let's move on to the very old Barton. And uh, again, this is uh, 86 proof. Evidently, years ago, very old Barton did say it was six years old. Now it just says 86 proof. And there's no age statement so we've got to assume this is between four and six years old that's pretty much the same color and uh, not really viscous I'm not seeing it really stick into the glass so let's give it a sniff now that tastes that smells almost like fruit I'm getting kind of a fruit, fruity smell to it. Not a bad way. It smells pretty good. But it's different. Maybe, maybe apples or pears. You know, that's again, that's just me. But very different. And I'm kind of glad that you know, I've been drinking. We did the the 80 proof benchmark, then the bottle and bond benchmark then the foolproof benchmark and then the uh, this one the uh, single barrel benchmark so that's four weeks been drinking nothing but benchmark so I'm, I'm kind of glad to move on to something else so yeah this is a little different but yeah pears so let's give it a taste Yeah, it, I'm getting like an apple or a pear taste. So that's different. That is different. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, try this over ice. It is pretty good. So. 
That's how I usually have, I have my bourbon in the evening, have it on just a single ice cube. So let's try it. It's almost like a, like a taste, like pears. Apples or pears. I know that kind of sounds, maybe sounds strange, but that's what I'm tasting. And I think everybody's kind of a little different. Especially I'm really different because, because I'm just starting out and just kind of developing my palate. So if you'd like to do that with me, it doesn't have to be the same bourbon, but uh, come along with me on this journey. Uh, take a bourbon that you like or that you have and try it out, smell it, get a good taste of it, kind of log what your impressions are, then drink it over the course of a week. Come back a week later and do another tasting and just see if your impressions have changed, if you're tasting anything different in that bourbon. So let's go ahead and develop our palate together. Love to have you do that with me. Uh, and drink responsibly. And in the meantime, enjoy.